Okay, so this is a really, really, really basic mock-up. But the imagine these are all Starship rockets flying off to Mars. And my suggestion is that you put them all in a ring like this, tether them up and get them spinning in a way that's rotating so that there is rotation oh, this is not the right uh, annotate. you get them rotating around around and around and around and doing circles so that the people inside so if you are inside one of these rocket ships you're now going to be pushed sh to the edge and it's only a tiny bit of artificial gravity but allows these to all work somewhat independently they're all firing off but they're all aiming their nozzle in a way that hopefully gives them some rotational energy again they're rotating out this way uh, so they're all spinning around you, if you were to look at them it would look like this and they're all spinning and as I said hopefully the people inside will get a tiny bit of artificial gravity uh, enough that you want to put a toilet here because if you put a toilet here the poop's going to go that way you put a toilet here it's up against the wall Apparently, pooping in space is a whole big problem. Uh, multiple people have been uh, had issues with it. Uh, go read Mary Roach's Packing for Mars uh, for some info about that. And yeah, uh, just it, it's a really, really basic idea. I don't know whether it'll work. I do think that you would need a little bit of extra structure along this part of the starship so that the i'm assuming you might need a tether you might not and you you might hell you you probably could do this with just one rocket on its own just not caring and it's rotating on its own axis and it's just going around and around inside and so there's artificial gravity against all of the walls which would actually make it probably better and easier and stronger rather than this way you've only got artificial gravity against one wall but what I know is that it, and it would probably be easier to get this thing to spin in space as well I also know though that it would be really hard to get this thing spinning enough around and around th to be able to uh, get enough artificial gravity to be worthwhile. Uh, whereas I think a bigger set of rockets all spinning together would provide better artificial gravity. Now, you only need, I mean, I don't know, 10% that of Earth's to... to be useful is my rough rough I have no idea uh, maybe maybe you need two percent something that things will float to the sides at a minimum but I do know that you get to Mars and you're looking at what like 38 percent the gravity of Earth um, if you've been floating in space in near zero G your muscles are going to be really weak when you land on Mars seven months later. Seven months in zero G is like seven months lying in bed. Your body is not going to do well. Yes, you have gyms and other things uh, to help. But I think just a little bit of artificial gravity might help. The other thing that having a, a physical tether around these, that helps with being able to 
uh, connect all these together. So if there's something that happens with one and it goes haywire and loses its power or something like that, then you could be sharing electricity, internet, information, whatever else between these. Maybe even someone could crawl along and do some I don't know, movie-like epic thing where they, they have to you know, hand over hand in a spacesuit, travel to another one. I don't know. That's not possible if they're all just heading off individually. It's more possible if they're together. There's a whole bunch of issues being together as well, though. Uh, the other question I've got is how do we power the uh, these starships? Because short of a small modular nuclear reactor... If, you, if you're using solar panels, then you're going to have to have a massive array of solar panels to provide enough energy to feed, uh, to power the oxygen systems, the food generation, however you're doing that. Maybe you have it packed, but you still got to heat it, whatever else. Water, you've got to be processing the water. you got lights, you've got... Yeah, you know, communication systems, you got all those different bits. So you need a few kilowatts of power. You you need a house sized solar array at least at the start. And then it turns out that you need four house sized solar arrays by the end, you've got a lot less energy coming in. So Yeah, you you probably don't want that. And in if you were to have one, let's move this to say the center, one in the middle that connected to all these, this could be generating the power and sharing it amongst multiple, and that's doable, and that might be an option. I don't know. Uh, you could have multiple that, that have their, their solar panels, but again, they're all sharing power. Uh, there's a difference between starships that are carrying people and those that are carrying just cargo. I'm talking about the ones carrying people. So you might have 50 other starships off on their own carrying cargo and we don't really care about them that much. They're just in sealed containers. And if you need to bring animals, you're going to have to bring them with the people, um, I guess, because the people are going to have to look after the animals. And they're going to have to be in something like that where there is some sort of gravity. Uh, just a thought, maybe we spin the starships in space. 